what case did you read earlier today, Steph? Crocker and Sundance. Sundance Northwest Results Resorts Limited. Okay. Crocker and Sundance is a story of the big guy against the little guy. No. That's so good. <laughs> Now, one day, the ski hill decided to have a competition. Who could go down their mogul run on an inner tube, which is not the normal way that you go down a mogul run. And the prize was a 40 of Jack Daniels. Which is awesome. And Crocker like, turns around and he's like, fuck, this is awesome. I'm totally going to do this thing and win because I'm a fucking winner. Like Charlie Sheen, I'm a fucking winner. And they say, you know what, you look you look kind of drunk, Crocker. And he's like, fuck you, you know me. I'm drunk all the time. I've drank a lot less than RJ. See, he's like, MacGyver. I don't know, he makes him like, gun gatlin. And then the second guy is stupid, and he's help like some He goes and he signs the waiver, but he doesn't actually read the waiver, because he's an asshole. He's just like, fuck tubing is awesome. I'm just going to sign this waiver. And now I'm going to tube and like win $200 cash because I'm a fucking winner. And that's going to be really awesome. So he goes and he skis. No, he doesn't ski. He tubes. And, and Crocker's <laughs> looking across to the, the guy across from him and he says, Hi, Dave Clark. How are you? I like Dave Clark. He's a nice guy. Fuck you. I'll see you at the finish line. And he wins. And he wins. That was a really solid high five. I'm really happy that that happened. Yeah, Grossman. And then him and his partner won. And that's, I guess that's like great for them. You know, good for you. You won. Yay. Your winner is at something in life. I think he cut his eyebrow or his nose or something. Like, either way, he was bleeding from his face. And then in between... I kind of forget what happens then. So I imagine him sitting there and like swirling his brandy and being like, yes, I'm fucking badass and I'm drinking brandy. So he does that thing. and then, But then he went to the top of the hill for the second heat because second heat was like a thing that happened. And then the owner of the ski resort went to him and said, are you okay to tube? And he was like, yes, yes, I'm fine. You're a good guy and fuck it. We're running this race, so they, they like let you go. Let's let you go. I don't actually give a shit about you, so you just go do your thing, and I'm going to walk this way. In sum, they paid his drunkenness <laughs> no heed. <laughs> and down the hill he went on those ice moguls. He broke the neck. He broke the neck. That's, it's, it's shitty. It's a shitty thing. <laughs> we shouldn't no, laugh. It's not no, funny. No, it's not funny. You know what? It's not funny. It's really yeah. bad. He, uh, He's probably still alive. I'm, like, really burpy right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it went to the Supreme Court... The Supreme Court of Canada! <laughs> and Brian Dixon said that this inner tube ride is extremely dangerous in its own. Probably more dangerous than skiing down this same run would have been. However, he was a drunk asshole, and those waivers... That doesn't matter. Just ask right. Alan Hutchinson. Those waivers mean nothing. I don't give a fuck about what Hutchinson said. He would say, that's what the Crockers say of this world. And uh, they made them liable. Parentheses, fuck you, Ski Hill, exclamation mark, Brian Dixon. That's basically the end of the story. Sorry, sorry we fucked that up, guys, but, uh, exclamation mark, Brian Dixon. And this is gonna follow me forever. <laughs> he broke his neck. He broke his fucking neck. But the real- What about the crockers of this world? MacGyver. <laughs>